Hello YouTube fans. Uh, today I would like to do another review about how to smoothen your bearing. Okay. Like last time I show you guys the the bearing soak inside zippo, right? So now we got another method how to smoothen your bearing. Okay. So uh, this is some kind of two in one. You can like if your if your bearing your guide your rollers this side way when it's like uh, rust you can use this method to take out rust too so it's a very good indeed uh, tutorial um, and of course uh, I'm doing uh, and this video is uh, under by holo motors you can go to its forums and you can check out my description uh, my description of the links to the Ho Holomotors forum and the Holomotors website. Uh, Holomotors is at the United States, but it got a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of place got Holomotors like Malaysia, uh, Hong Kong, and you can just check it out at the Mini 4WD. Uh, I mean, Holomotors forum. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so. Ah, uh, there is it. Now, I do find out uh, that it's very quite hard to buy Zippo because it's somehow it's you need to go hardware store. If it's the Tamiya shop, it's nearby you. You can just buy parts, just parts, no need any liquids. Okay, so here you need to buy this aluminium extension. This how it look like. They, it will keep it will got two one pair in one packet so this is the bent one okay this one I bend it into into an L shape so something like that okay then find a screw with washer okay put it inside here okay and then I use AR chassis and you can use other chassis too but I use AR chassis it's easier so okay put it in the hole and screw it in don't screw so tight yet because you need to adjust the place okay then you get like that an L shape okay now you take another piece of uh, this aluminum extension okay this ball bearing put the bushing okay two sides uh, any any of the bearing or rollers or any gears bearing any bearing products you can just use this method to make it smooth so okay okay this is the shiny one I use a a bit rusty okay this one is rusted very rust you can't see it. it's not so shiny so put it in the bushing and put a screw with washer okay put a washer and then put it in and put it at the second hole or you adjust yourself so for me I will put it in the second hole and then screw it and not, not lock it okay then Okay, now you get this bearing not so smooth yet okay and then take this face like that put in the screw into the lowest hole the middle hole then screw it here okay Oh, sorry. The bearing should face inside, not outside. So, okay. Oh, so it's something like that. Uh oh. Sorry that I screwed it wrong. <laughs> 
take it back out. Sorry for wasting your time. If you want to fast forward, you can just fast forward it. So you can see the results. Okay, it's supposed to be like that, attached like that. Then your bearing should be facing inside. So your bearing should be facing inside, not outside. Okay, so secure it with a nut. Okay, like that. See, see, listen to the sound. Not so smooth yet. Then put in a screw and a spacer so it can give it some gap. So put it here. Okay, then not lock it. Okay. okay. And then screw it. Oh, screw got problem. It, I think it's rust. Wait, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, alrighty. Now I'll find a new screw. Okay, and then put it same here. The second hole. Put a spacer here. Put it inside here, and then. First, you don't screw too tight. Don't tighten it so fast. So the result will be like that. If you need more inquiries, you can just uh, send a private message to me. Okay, so adjust. First, adjust. Okay, adjust to a wheel. Okay, it must be straight. Okay, straight now. Yeah. And then, so secure it. So screw it tightly now. Okay, now make sure that your bearing is fully contact to the tires. So. lock it now you get the result like that okay then for AR chassis or single shaft chassis you need to take out the shaft see wait okay okay so it's like so like that you take out the middle shaft take it out so it's back the back wheel running not the front wheel because you need to put it if you want to let the front wheel rotate also can so but this is just a advice if you don't have any stands for it so yeah okay put it back and put batteries inside double A batteries okay now okay now you find a something like this a uh, cap or what okay then you need tapes to tape it okay then cut it okay Tip it at the side so you got more grip. Okay, now it will move. Now, okay, let's start the motor. Okay, now it's rotating. Okay, see, it's rotating now. 
okay why uh, and then you can use a sandpaper put it here like that you can by this way you can make your your roller shine back and doesn't rot okay so it'll be like that okay until you get the results you want so you can just stop it then uh, why we need to use this method first it's save time okay why uh, because uh, the ball bearings inside all these balls are made out of metals so it will become became rust so you need the this method uh, to run it so all the rust will be gone so this is the way and you can if you need a better performance you can soak it inside zippo soak for a while and then take it out um, soak it shake for 30 seconds then take it out put it here and then let it run run and you can use a RC cleaner spray if you want more greater performance spray some here and then you let it run 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 until you your desire so run until you like so uh, until the product is finished uh, I think maybe this is not so smooth because I run a while so but it became not rust anymore see okay okay now look at the bearing see it shines So see, it's shiny now. Okay, it's very shiny. Okay, so it's very smooth now, so you can run on track. So see, see the performance. It will be better a little bit because I run for a while. You can try it at home. Try it, like run it for... Uh, don't run it too long because your motor will burn. So yeah, this is it and thanks for watching and remember to subscribe my channel and holomoto's channel and you can find it uh find go if you got a facebook account you can go a holomoto's the page and like it and become one of us a mini for a mini 4wd racer or we can and we can discuss more about uh mini 4 wd where we can buy where we can online buy or how we set up tech cars, semi tech or speed cars. So you can just go and like mm, uh, Holo Motors at Facebook, and you can see the link below. I will show you guys, and you can guys can go and like. And do remember to subscribe my channel and Holo Motors channel. There will be a lot of at Holo Motors channel. There will be a lot of videos about unboxings and tutorials and about all these tracks how to paint tracks that's very interesting you can you should go and look at their for their forums too their forums are very 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 cool you can go there and learn stuff if, if you at US you can go and race with them or if you need if you it at uh, Malaysia or Hong Kong or any any places that inside the the Holo Motors forum you can go go there and race with them and thanks for watching and you 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 guys do can subscribe uh, mr. Tim velocity uh, a, a YouTube channel and do remember to subscribe my channel and holomoto channel thanks guys bye